guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Max Milano and I'm back with a new video so as you can all see by the title and obviously by just looking at me I have got my braces I've got my braces fitted in now guys um if you haven't seen the video that I made before this please do check it out because we'll give you like a little backstory on what I'm about to talk about so I'm gonna link it in the cards and I'm also gonna put the description box below. Please bear with me as I'm talking because I'm still trying to like figure out how to speak and I've got a little lisp. I don't know if you guys can hear it, you probably can. But um, yeah, just bear with me because <laughs> this has been a bit of a mare for me. It's just, I'm just still kind of getting used to it. I've got a mirror over here, so if I keep looking there, you know why. It takes a little while for you to get adjusted to these and I've only had this for about six days now. So, um, yeah i'm clearly not used to it just yet so yeah guys i got my braces put in last week on what date was it so i got my braces put in on the 17th of june so it's been exactly six days now and i mean i can only say that it's getting better i'm only getting more and more used to it now but it's been a whole mess so let me give you guys like a little let me take you guys back a little bit because i feel like i didn't have the straightforward braces journey like everyone probably did so firstly if you guys haven't noticed i had to get my tooth extracted so i had to get a tooth right here right there my tooth there got extracted had to get pulled out the tooth that was there was actually a baby tooth but the weird thing is when we did x-rays so my dentist my, my normal dentist and my orthodontist both did x-rays and they both said to me that there's no tooth on top of the baby tooth to grow back out which is so weird because if it was a baby tooth there would be an adult tooth sitting on top to come out but there, there wasn't one like that for me so either way he said to me that you don't want to get your teeth all fixed and make it all perfect and then later on your teeth will end up falling out because it's a baby tooth like it wouldn't really make sense and i'll be hella pissed because i spent all of that money for what so i had to get it taken out and i was so so nervous about it because it was like i'm a big ass woman to be getting my tooth pulled out at my age like but i felt like it's part of the process there's not really much i could do about it i had to get it done like there was no there was no way around it really what my dentist said to me is that he's going to close it up with the braces so every time that gap over there will be gone with the rest of the gaps so scary <laughs> i'm honestly having a mare guys because like i said you have allergies so my nose is fully blocked my nose is fully blocked and then i have my braces so i can't talk so yeah this is this is so fun so once my tooth got extracted we were then able to move on to actually get the braces put in so my tooth got extracted and then literally a week later i got the braces put in so that my tooth could kind of like heal up a bit when it got pulled out it wasn't painful at all my dentist gave me um obviously numbed that the whole area so i didn't feel it all you can really feel is like pressure of him like you just feel pressure but you can't you don't feel any actual pain so it wasn't bad and um yeah i was able to still eat normally i was able to still do everything normally like it wasn't really a big deal it just obviously looked funny if i can insert if i if i'm brave enough i'll insert some pictures of how it looked but i get a bit shy so we'll see a week later i went to my orthodontist practice and we got the braces put in obviously prior to going to the appointment they sent me like a whole um they sent me like a whole treatment plan for me to read through and agree to and like sign and everything so i did that so I did that and then went ahead with the appointment. So when I got there, I wasn't really nervous. It's just, I just felt like, oh, it is what it is. It needs to be done now. Now that my tooth was pulled out, I have no choice. Like, I'm definitely get, going to get these braces because of what am I supposed to do? My orthodontist clarified everything with me. He confirmed that I still wanted their traditional train tracks, which is, which is why I preferably wanted. And my orthodontist even agreed that this is the best option. So I'm ha I was happy to obviously hear that from him as well. And then he went on to tell me that you need to get these two attachments at the back of your teeth so that your teeth can align properly but i wasn't like i said i wasn't really sure what he was talking about because i feel like it wasn't in my treatment plan and even if i feel like it wasn't in my treatment plan and no one had really spoken to me about it before so i wasn't like i, I just i don't know i wasn't really sure what they were talking about and i don't know i just anyway i agreed to it and i was like yeah cool fair enough like really intrigued i feel like he just decided on the day that yeah you're gonna need this or i want you to have this so 
I don't remember seeing anything like that part of my treatment plan, but do you know what? I'm gonna double check and then I'll correct myself if it was because I can't remember seeing that. Maybe I just missed that part. He just told me that I'll need two attachments to go at the back of my two front teeth. So I agreed to it. I was all, I was like, yeah, cool, whatever. Let's get this done. And then I went ahead and laid down on the dentist chair and we just, we like, we just went ahead. Like he was doing his thing. He kept asking me if I was okay. Um, like if I was feeling okay, if everything was good, and it was like there was no pain. I believe it was him and his assistant who was um, doing my teeth, and yeah, like I was just kind of chilling. Like there'd be times where I'll close my eyes and just try and relax, or times I'll open, but I wasn't nervous at all, guys. Like I, I was so chill. Like I'm surprised I wasn't. Like it's like I didn't really care. I think I had the it is what it is mentality. Like it has to be done. So. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, he put the brackets on my teeth and that was all fine. That went well. There was no problems with that at all. And then he went on to put these attachments, which I now know that is called Bite Turbos. So I'll try and insert a picture on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Bro, Bite Turbos are not it. As soon as he put it on and attached it properly, it's basically these two attachments at the back of my two front teeth. I'll try and, I'll try and zoom off of it because... I don't want to really go all up in my mouth like that, but you can kind of see it, especially when I do that. Yeah, you can see it there. You can see it when I do that. Yeah, so you can see that. And um, so what it is, is it doesn't allow my teeth to, it doesn't allow my teeth to comfortably come together. So right now, this is the most I can put my teeth together. that's the most i can put my teeth together before i basically had an overbite so what he was saying to me is that if i don't put the bite turbos i will end up biting my bottom braces or my bottom brackets off which obviously we don't want to do that because we'll just prolong my treatment so now i literally cannot put my teeth down because if i try to put my teeth down i hit the bite turbos you see so Obviously, you can imagine how uncomfortable this is. When I first got it done, that day, I didn't eat anything. I literally did not eat a thing. I could barely talk because I was trying to, like, figure out how to say certain words again. Um, I felt like I couldn't really close my mouth. Like, it was just such an uncomfortable, like, situation. My teeth were aching so bad. My teeth were so sore. I, li I just was not expecting that sort of pain. And that pain lasted for, like, three good days. I was taking... I was just popping some cocodamol left, right and centre because I was in so much pain. My whole my whole jaw was hurting. I don't want to talk to anyone because when I spoke it made it even worse. Um my mouth like I just it was just a mess, okay? It was a mess. Remember I kept having so much breakdowns, I kept crying because I couldn't eat. <laughs> I couldn't eat like such a foodie <laughs> i couldn't eat and i was so upset about it because i was literally st i was so hungry and i couldn't eat like i put food in my mouth and i couldn't chew i couldn't bite down i couldn't do anything and it would hurt it would even I, it's not even like i couldn't it would hurt it would hurt so bad if i tried to chew if i tried to move my mouth my my gums were hurting my teeth was hurting with the right turbos i'll forget that it's there because obviously my mouth isn't used to it being there so i would like try and bite and then hit the turbos together so it would hurt my teeth <laughs> i'm laughing at myself now because just bro like this was just a couple days ago but i was having a man like guys could you imagine the day that i got my braces put on three hours later i called back the office and was like oh my gosh what is this what is this thing that you put there i can't do anything with it <laughs> literally guys three hours afterwards like the receptionist lady was like i know i feel your pain i know how it's like da, 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 da. i was so over it i was like nah i feel like i made the wrong decision i felt like i regretted it i was ready to get the asap like it's what me i'm ready to get the fuck asap after this shit i was just so over it i just had to like kind of pull through my mom my mom was so helpful she was so supportive she was making me food she was making me soups and like just soft food that i can easily swallow because i literally could not chew like i could not eat she felt so sorry for me because i <laughs> she felt so sorry for me because i was just like sulking to myself really but i felt like i was allowed to do that because bro my mouth was in bits i was in so much pain i was just so over it but now guys obviously it's not 
I'm still not fully, fully comfortable with it, yeah. But listen, a bit gonna eat. Like, like I need to eat. My stomach was doing kink and crank em. Like, I could not do it. What I've been eating right now is like porridge, um, soup. I've been buying a lot of smoothies and making smoothies and just been drinking that. Um, I've also, I've been trying to have like soft food as well, like rice, but I can't really have a lot of rice because it just hurts. Like I literally can't, it doesn't even hurt, I can't chew guys. I legit can't chew because my teeth don't come together. So um, I just have to kind of like, it sounds so nasty, but I can have to like mush it up in my mouth and just swallow it. He didn't tell me how long I'd be having the bike turbos on. And my whole treatment plan for the races is supposed to be 18 months, so a year and a half. But he didn't tell me how long the bike turbos are supposed to be on for because he said to me we just have to kind of see how long my, it will take my teeth to kind of align back because right now my teeth overlap the bottom teeth they have an overbite so he's trying to push it back like this so until it gets like that i can't have it off which is a mess i'm literally praying to god that this thing hurries up so i can take it off because if it was just the braces i'd be okay like i'd firm it because i knew what i was coming in for but the bike turbos just took me for a shock i was in a whole like i was in surprise i was just so over everything the day that i did my braces my dentist actually gave me like this cute little pack full of stuff a timer a mirror mouthwash he gave me wax for my um brackets but i've already gone through it so i've bought a pack myself i bought a pack of 10 and i've already used two guys when i tell you guys that like, the way my mouth has been cutting up it's been cutting up like crazy my gums were cutting up so bad but then i bought some bongella and i've been using it on um obviously the cuts and that's made it much better and the wax obviously helps when you put it all on but it's just such high maintenance having braces it's such high maintenance but i know that um the end outcome is going to be great so literally these are probably going to be my best friend for this whole journey but yeah but that was just a quick update for you guys on what's going on with me and what happened with my teeth and my teeth journey i know you guys really loved my old video i get all of these messages all the time and i'm so grateful for that but i hope you guys continue to follow me on this journey and we can do this together comment down below if you guys have braces right now or you're getting braces or let me know how your experience was if you've had braces or if, you, if you've had bike turbos help a girl out because like i said to you when i was when i was searching on youtube there wasn't a lot of videos about bike turbos so i was thinking what is this like what has my dentist put in my mouth thank you guys so much for watching this video give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow this braces journey with me follow this whole teeth journey with me and yeah guys i'll see you all in my next video bye guys